Two Lakota students were hit while walking in crosswalks. One of the students was killed. And now Lakota local schools asking parents for their input on how to make things safer for students. WLWT News 5's Daniel Dindak speaking with folks about their concerns. This crosswalk on Bethany Road was where a 15 year old freshman was hit and killed, but it's not the only crosswalk within the district where a student was hit trying to get to school. Making it from one side to another on Westchester Road in front of Lakota West High School is no easy feat either. You just have to look about 20 times to make sure that you're ready to go. It's nonsensical to me, okay, that you wouldn't put a light up and then control traffic and pedestrians. Right now, this marked crosswalk is all students have to help them as they hope drivers buzzing through are paying attention. I don't think it's uh, good enough for kind of what's going on here. There's these little signs here. Um, the blinking lights are clearly insufficient as demonstrated a number of times. In September, a car hit a student in the crosswalk outside of Lakota West High School. Fortunately, she's expected to make a full recovery, but others weren't as lucky. In May, at Lakota East's freshman campus, a pickup truck hit Aspen Runnels in a marked crosswalk on Bethany Road, killing the 15 year old. How many more people do we have to have hit and hopefully not lost before something's actually done about it? That question is what Trisha Parnell has been asking since 2018 when her daughter Maddie Bear was hit by a car in this very crosswalk in front of Lakota West High School. Maddie's injuries were severe. As a mom, you feel like it's a smack in the face because you're like, did my child get hit in vain? Lakota local schools are in the driver's seat as parents sit back waiting to see if the district will turn the corner and heighten safety in school zones. It's not acceptable to move forward without some kind of change happening because in Aspen's honor, because Aspen's mom and Aspen deserve that. And you're taking a look at a memorial set up here for Aspen. And today I had a chance to talk to Aspen's mom and she told me that she's thankful the district is taking the time to try to solve this problem. And this issue should be the district's top priority to ensure all students are safe. Now, as for next week's panel discussion, it'll be on Wednesday from 630 to 8 over at the Coda West Freshman Campus. Danielle Dindak, WLWT News 5. All right, the discussion next week will include representatives from the Butler County Engineer's Office, the Sheriff's Office, district officials, Westchester Police, and more.